What's up guys, welcome to this episode of Mike Life. Today we're gonna to be doing a video on this right here it was sent to me by Draft Tools. It is their stainless steel hose reel that holds 150 feet of 5 8 inch hose. All right, they're saying it's industry grade, heavy duty, solid hose reel made of stainless steel with elbow at the center of drum. Auto track system distributes the hose evenly across the reel. Yeah, so we're gonna see if this thing really works good. It looks nice, I've already opened it, it looks beautiful. But I'm gonna show you guys where we're gonna install it. So as you can see here, this is my cheap Home Depot setup that I have here. Well, this is where I'm gonna mount it. I think it's gonna look nice right here. I do have my hose bib right there. So it's a perfect situation right here, perfect spot. So inside the package, you're gonna get the hose reel. You're gonna get a handle or crank handle. You're gonna get four of these expansion screws. This is if you're gonna put it in concrete, that'll work perfect. Over here, this is gonna be their guide system regulator. Then you're gonna have some a clamp there for the hose, some screws, that's gonna be for your crank handle so you could mount that. And over here is gonna be your jumper hose that they provide. Now my, and obviously a user manual, the jumper hose that they provided got kind of kinked. I'm not sure if this is gonna work. Their packaging, this was like, cramped in there this is crushed i'm gonna have to figure out and see hopefully it works if it doesn't i'm gonna have to get a new jumper hose for this so now with new a job like this i recommend two people to do it but i'm gonna attempt to do it by myself i do have my sharpie find the spot i think right about there that's where i'm gonna want to mount this so what i'll do now is just hold it in place grab my sharpie and mark the holes where i want to screw it down so one there one there and I'll get two the other two from the other side now before I screw it down I'm gonna make some pilot holes I have my marks here there we go this will just make it a simpler process screwing it down So I'm gonna use my impact gun. There you go, I got washers. So I'm gonna do my own screws. Like I said, I'm not gonna use the hardware they provided because that's mainly for concrete in my opinion. All right, got it in position. Now I'm just gonna screw this down. There we go, got the first one on. There we go. Holding it nice. All right, I'll get the other two off camera. There you go, the mounting was super easy on this. So now a cool feature with this is with this tool that they provide, or you could use your own, it's a Phillips head screwdriver. You could adjust the angle of this by undoing these screws. You could drop this down, drop this up, this part here where your hose extracts out. I kind of like where it is right now. That's where I'll keep it. And if I see it's not where I like it, then I'll change it up, maybe drop it down. So now I'm gonna put the crank in place. All right, it's gonna have a little screw hole there, which you can use the bigger Phillips head that they give you. Uh, I can't remember the number. I got to look on the manual to see what number screw is, but they only give you one that's this size, and that's for this handle here. There we go. Just tighten it down. Well, I got to find the hole first. There we go. Perfect. Make sure it's nice and snug. Now, they do provide you with the regulator and these two screws, and this regulator goes here. I don't know if you guys could see it, right in that spot, you're going to screw it down. So now the jumper hose is going to go right inside here. All right, obviously, you're going to need tools for this. You could try and do it by hand to start it off and obviously to finish it off. You don't want to over tighten this. There's, you don't need to put no threading lock thread or any anything in there, uh, tape for it. The O-ring that's inside here is going to create the seal for no leaking. All right, guys, so perfect timing. The giraffe's tool hose just came in. This is their new hose, the kink proof hose. This is a 90 footer. I think they also come in 50 feet and uh, I think 25 feet. I'll have links down below for all this stuff. You do have brass connections on both sides. You do have a sleeve here to prevent it from 
kinking pretty nice so let's undo this and we'll put it inside the new reel so first thing i'm gonna do is take this side here and attach it right there then you're gonna grab your clamp with the screws and there's two holes here that's where it's gonna make its connection or support whatever you want to call it so what i want to do here is give it a little slack inside like that and loop it down like this and there you can see you got the clamp there holding it no kink or nothing all right i got the hose in place now this is supposed to be their upgraded anti-kink hose it's got like a unique spiral shape structure it's not supposed to kink collapse it feels it's very hard it feels like almost like a hard plastic but it is flexible so it's supposed to last it took me a while to get it here but it molds into shape it's very weird the way this material is so i'm gonna do is i'm gonna throw a quick connect on here and we'll turn on the water all right water is on i can hear it running through you hear the air hear that it's pushing out and there's the water it's gonna start coming out now come on and what oh there you go didn't have it fully open all right nice nice i love quick connects got the swivel here the quick connect see that the way it turns it hopefully i was in frame there you go you could see quick connect and water all right here you'll be able to see it in action now this here i'm going to regulate it to be right here there we go so now it should move see that so I'm gonna start pulling the garden hose out. And then to pull it back in, you hear the noise it's making because of the ribs. This is ribbed and it's rubbing against there. And I'm hitting the camera, sorry about that. One more time. see the hose coming out and the hose is not kinking up or nothing it's actually laying out nice and flat which i'm happy because undoing the hose just to get it on here was a pain so now that i got it off i could see where this hose is to see if i'm if the regulator is right where i want it i'll move it a little bit there that should be good and now start winding it in There we go. I keep on hitting the camera. Sorry, guys. So now I'm going to pull the hose out so you guys could get a look at it laid out. There we go. All right. There we go. You can see it lays out nice and straight. And one more time, we'll reel it in. Uh, you got to love that noise it makes. There we go. Looking good. All right, guys, and that was the stainless steel draft tools hose reel. Really like it. I do highly recommend it. The quality, everything about it feels good. In the future, obviously, we'll do an update video to see how it's lasting. But everything on here feels nice. No issues with the jumper hose. Remember how I said there was a kink in here? The kink is gone now. It's fine. I guess it opened up. The sun hitting it also is going to also make it mold into place. The hose itself. I don't know, so far, so good. It's it's a weird hose. I'm not used to it. I'm used to traditional hoses, but I don't know. The blue, I'm kind of digging the blue. I, I kind of wish it wasn't as shiny, but I'm sure after using it a lot, it's that a lot of that glossy look to it, rubbing on the ground, should go away. I would, would have liked it just if it being more of a matte blue would have been nicer. We're going to do lots of tests with this, and I will give you guys updates on this hose, but so far, I'm liking it. It fits in there nice. It actually was worrying me untangling the hose because it just felt like you could mold it in place. So then as I was reeling it on for the first time, it started molding in place. And then when it comes out, it's coming out straight and it's getting molded to be straight, which is pretty cool actually. So it lays down. It's not kinking on the ground. So I'm happy with that. So, so far it looks like it's going to be a pretty good hose. So there you go. I think I finished this video. Guys, if you guys like these kind of videos, give me a subscribe, a like. And also, I will have links to both of these down below. There will be Amazon links. I will also have a link to Giraffe Tools website. Thank you all for watching this episode of Mike Life.